Suppose primates had never existed or had gone extinct early in their development. Could you speculate on which species would eventually have taken our place at the top of the intelligence stack? Cephalopods? Question mark. Marine mammals? I'd say not cephalopods um, because cephalopods are the cephalopods being um, octopus, squid, squid, octopus, nautiluses, cuttlefishes, not a lie, cuttlefi. No. Um, <laughs> so first of all, I should say a, a, a discussion I've had with Eric many times. Um, cephalopods are special, but really the specialness in cephalopods is the octopuses. Uh, but yeah, seems to be. they're not social. And so I would say the problem with with octopuses as potential uh, evolutionary precursors to a civilized critter mm -hmm. is that they have a big leap to cover with with sociality. Um, sociality being required effectively for cumulative uh, emergent technology, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the problem with toothed whales as a potential uh, human analog is their appendages having been turned into flippers, they are hobbled with respect to actually doing things like testing hypotheses. So in some sense, we had an advantage that came from our opposable thumbs and our opposable thumbs are not initially evolved for manipulation of anything. They're evolved to grip round branches in trees. Yeah, um, that's true. So you said, I'm sorry, I'm like the reg is all messed up here, so I'm stuck in place. Uh, you said what to in Western Australia, which is you know one of the most famous places where dolphin behavior is studied, um, they will put sponges on their noses in order to hunt sea urchins. It's kind of the equivalent of uh, lampshades on the head after you're- Except you know. I think they're not drunk. I mean, it's hard to tell. Maybe they're, I, we haven't heard that they are. Uh, and maybe the researchers are protecting them. Maybe they're getting drunk with the dolphins. I don't know. But, yeah. um, but no, it's I mean, presumably to protect their, their sensitive little noses uh, from the urchin stings. Well, okay. So I'm not arguing that they can't hypothesis test. I'm mm -hmm. arguing that they are hobbled in the degree to yep. which they can. Oh, no, for and sure. And so um, uh, there, there are a few clades that are less hobbled, still hobbled compared to us. Well, you know, actually, now that you mention it. Um, I just figured this is where you were going. Squirrels aren't the obvious go-to. Yeah. But squirrels are highly intelligent, have uh, limbs that have, I would say, high potential to evolve, evolve into um, carefully fine-tuned manipulating devices. They're not super highly social, um, but they're social enough. So anyway. We've got... Screen timed out, buffering here, reloading helped. Okay. Um, hopefully reload and see if, yeah, it, if see you guys are having there. more trouble, let us know. Yeah. Um, but anyway, what I would say is you've got a lot of things that have sort of in the ballpark collections of stuff. And given that the question doesn't have a time limit. Well, that's, that's the thing. It's like, you know, the, as, as you've pointed out, what I refer to as the usual suspects, yeah. you know, all of the sort of the long lived organisms that are social, that have generational overlap, that have learning, that have long childhoods, um, include not cephalopods, right? Right. not octopus, which tend to be solitary, very smart, but solitary. Uh, but yes, dolphins, elephants, wolves, um, you know, other primates, but we're excluded from thinking about other primates here. And then over in, in bird space, we've got parrots and we've got corvids right. as the, as the main, uh, leaders here, corvids being the, the crows and the ravens and the jays and magpies. magpies. Well, what I would say magpies, is there's probably a, you know, Jared Diamond does this list of characteristics necessary for creatures to be domesticable and, um, it's a very interesting list because when you get down to it, the only things that tick all the boxes, there's mm. a handful. Meerkats. Yeah. So meerkats, I would put up with squirrels or maybe higher mm -hmm. um, because they have the potential to evolve the ability to manipulate uh, objects. And Elephants meerkats really like ground don't. squirrels. Well, but they do with their trunks. And yeah. But my point is really how good is that appendage? How good a precursor is it to an appendage that can actually lead you to building structures, test apparatus, all yeah. of that. And so no, I would and, say and, and wolves thing, are hobbled, yeah. lions are hobbled, elephants are hobbled, right. dolphins are hobbled. 
Uh, crows are not necessarily hobbled. Yeah, anything that has gone bipedal, I'm walking away from this, has gone bipedal or has an ability to do it facultatively, like meerkats and ground squirrels and regular squirrels, and then the, the birds, right. um, has an ability to then use not just something on their face, but also these appendages to potentially manipulate, manipulate and carry, manipulate and do things. Yep. Uh, yep. Yep. Something like that. Hey guys, that was a clip from our monthly private Q&A that you can get access to at my Heather Hyang's Patreon. And you can also get access there to all of the past paid subscriber content. So please consider joining us there. Did you mention that these private Q&As are the key to living a better life and living to tell the tale? I forgot to do that. These private Q&As are in fact the key to living a better life and what? Living to tell the tale. Living to tell the tale. Go ahead, live to tell the tale. Join us there. See ya.